Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Rogue Tower. Yes, I'm still addicted to this game. And thankfully, we have a mod to make things a little bit different. So shout out to almost certainly Real Gaming for making these and making me aware of them. And uh, basically what he's done, he's made a mod where if we go into single defense, we basically have a custom map. So we'll start as usual, just placing a few ballistas about between all the houses. May as well do it around the edge of the houses. Get all that money. All right, so if we expand, this will go straight into a left-hand bend. And then we choose choose what tower we want probably the lookout and then if we expand once more it's the portal that's literally the entire level now hey, why is it why is the game continuing in the background <laughs> what's going on <laughs> wait i haven't picked my upgrade yet G excuse me game uh this isn't meant to happen so what if i do an unlock do i just get the next one? Oh god okay we might have to pause. I didn't know that was a feature of this mod. Apparently it is. So we'll just pause between each round manually. Uh, I think for this challenge, we're going to want like splash damage. So let's grab a mortar. We've already got a flamethrower down here. Let's make our flamethrowers more powerful then. Right. And now let's put some towers down. Oh, that was that was a disaster. All right. So we'll shove a mortar probably on there at the back. Yeah, that covers the entire map. That's pretty good. We'll do a couple of flamethrowers on there. And then we'll press play again. Are we going to lose some lives we might do but that's not my fault in my opinion right press pause again <laughs> oh man this is carnage this is quite quick okay next up i might get a lookout tower involved so we, maybe we'll upgrade those as well i'm also going to select this mortar at the back we're going to tell the priority we don't want it to look at the progress we actually want the slowest i think is that a thing slowest yeah there you go because so i can't do anti-progress i basically want it to like fire here so that's where most of the enemies will be. Yeah, and as you've got a bit more money, I might shove another mortar behind it as well. That sort of reaches up there. We'll also make that one target the slowest. And then we'll press plate. All right, come on, mortars. Oh, they're just bombing my own tower. What are you doing, mortars? <laughs> All right, okay. At the moment, mortars completely useless. Uh, what shall we go with next? Maybe an obelisk. They're so expensive, though. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I think maybe we'll just make our flamethrowers a bit better. All right, there you go. Mortars actually doing damage this time. Good work, guys. And then I put a few ballistas on that hill. We should be good. Nice. Right, what shall we go for this? I think frost keep will probably be essential. And as we got the money, we'll place one down. Yeah, one there for now. Oh, and look how much gold we got. Nice. Right, we probably need to start upgrading soon. We're about to lose a lot of lives. Oh, goodness. Okay, we lost three lives. But I think we're going to be okay. Mana Siphon, I think we'll do next. We've got a few crystals dotted about. Question is, are they worth it? Or should I just try and wait till we got the banks? So we'll, I guess we'll do it for now. We've got 448 gold. I think I'm going to wait till we kill one and then shove another flamethrower around this area. There we go. It's a flamethrower there. You can look at most armor. Oh, we are losing lives big time. This is this is quite tricky, actually. Is it worth increasing our burn? I guess so, because they're not going to be burnt for very long. So yeah, let's do that. Let's tell these guys to also look at most armor. And then perhaps you just shove another ballista or two, like over here somewhere. I could really do with like a shredder or something, or a Tesla. But the game's not being too kind at the moment. Uh, we're just about coping with the enemies. Oh, man, there's... There's so many. Okay. Okay, we, we survived. We survived. Do we get the mana banks? We will need them later. Yeah, I think we probably should, to be honest. We got 700 gold. I might shove another frost keep down. Maybe one at the back here. Because this is where most of our damage is happening with all the ballistas. Uh, but yeah, we, see, we seem to be coping okay now. I feel like things are going a little bit better. Although, oh god, there's quite a few people making it through. Frost keeps saving our ass, I think. But yeah, we're doing better. We're doing better. Frost keeps definitely helping. And look, we've unlocked the shredder. This could change everything. We can afford one. So I think we'll put you on there. That covers the entire area. Nice. We want them always looking at the progress. I might just upgrade. Or shall I get another one? Maybe I'll get another one instead. But yeah, stacks of logs. They are not lasting too long. Oh god, there's a load of people at the front. That stack of logs is going to ruin us. Uh, the lives, the lives. Right, we can afford another shredder. As it's got quite a big area, I might shove it like back there. That seems good. All right, come on shredders. Shred, shred. Oh, we're down to six lives. It's, no, we're dead. No, we're not dead. We survived. We got two lives left. Woo. 
That was stressful. That was stressful. All right, next up. Maybe the poison sprayer, because we will need that to do shields. I don't think we're going to last that long, to be honest. Oh, and we're completely out of mana as well. Right, let's just take the burn damage then, and then we'll shove a few mana siphons about. Maybe that's why we did so badly then. All right, the mana is positive again, and we seem to be doing a lot more damage. Yeah, we didn't lose any lives that round. Oh man, this is this is pretty stressful, I'm not going to lie. Uh, next up, let's upgrade the flamethrower to do health damage, and then I might live you just spend money on upgrading stuff. So I think this flamethrower at the start, we want to get rid of the stacks of logs as soon as possible because they burst into people. So let's just do armor multiplier on you. We'll also do these ones because they're cheap. And then maybe these mortars as well. Let's just do upgrade both of them. And then is that working any better? I think we can upgrade the shredder and that one. Oh, there's so much going on. It's carnage. It is carnage. Oh, oh we're so close to losing lives. <laughs> Right, come on, Shredders. Shred, shred. Oh, right. We survived, we survived. I think at the end of each round, we're sort of gaining an extra tower point. So we're back up to four. Uh, let's do extra burn, and then I might put a lookout tower down. So what's the range like on you? The range is huge, so we can put you way at the back. So I've put him there. We've also got Oogie this round. So what I might do, I might make you target most health, give you some health damage, and then maybe just shove ballistas down. We don't really have enough of anything. I'll tell you what, maybe I need another frost tower to keep him slow, and then I can afford one more ballista, give you some health damage, and make you look at most health. Oh, and the Oogie's already made it through. Oh, man. He is taking some damage but not enough essentially can we take him down yes we took him down we took him down oh we won <laughs> we beat oogie with this okay that was quite surprising not gonna lie just one stack of logs to go and we're good right okay shall we do oh we could unlock the poison sprayer i think that's probably useful okay poison sprayer unlocked we're then gonna see what's in the chest that was dropped by oogie i think let's just upgrade the napalm let's make the flamethrowers better this one will make our poison sprayers better against shields even though we don't have any yet and then we will shove a poison sprayer down i think that's a good spot we'll say target the most shield i'm also going to shove another one closer to the front as well so another one there look at most shield and then we'll upgrade your shield damage and then we'll upgrade the health damage of our shredders all right nice and we're off again oh we completed the level instantly very nice okay let's oh we could take banditry extra gold but so risky because basically as enemies get to your tower they do more damage and we've only got six health of our tower left so if they get through it's basically game over but we get a lot more gold or kills i'm gonna take banditry sod it you only live once and we might not live for very long but look at the damage in here they're not getting far at all i say that they're around the corner it's these bloody shield ones all right do some shield damage poison oh no that's game over oh that didn't last long <laughs> is it game over yeah game over <laughs> right we go again We've, we've got a bit of a better level this time. We've already unlocked the Tesla. I'm about to unlock Banditry, I think. I'm sort of tempted by the Shredder, but extra gold, extra gold. So yeah, this is our layout. Thankfully, this corner, can you see it's raised this time? This Tesla, it's got a three times multiplier already because it's slightly higher than the rest of the land. So, so we're doing all right. I'm just shoving my ballistas around these to get some extra gold. And then we're basically good to go. Right, I think quality over quantity could be good because we're going to be upgrading our towers quite a lot because we're not going to have that many different towers so let's take that straight away and then let's upgrade the tesla let's do some health damage maybe some armor damage and we sort of know just from upgrading a single tesla we can get pretty far and look you can see the electricity absolutely ripping through those people yeah, it might be worth taking a mana bank although we do have lots of crystals about i just know that mana is going to be an issue there is actually the siphon there maybe i'll take that to start with and then we'll build a few of those about now the mana is going up. I'm going to keep building siphons, I think. All right, and now we're going to take the flame tower because we want to get that armor damage as soon as possible. Flame is good against armor. I think we'll shove one on there once we have enough gold. So after a few hits, we've got enough gold. No, we don't. Come on. All right, now we've got enough gold. So flamethrower on there. We'll make you target the most armor. And then we'll just leave that running for a little bit. I might actually get some more mana siphons. We've got the crystals. So we may as well use them. All right, nice. Next up, we're going to... Oh, we could do banditry again. Let's get even more gold. Yeah, sod it. Then we'll keep upgrading the Tesla. We'll upgrade this as well. So nice. They're working together pretty well, I think. So, oh, we could even take another banditry. 
Shall we do it? I think we're going to do it. We'll be rolling in gold. And then I might shove another Tesla on here. And then perhaps another flame tower as well. Let's shove a flame tower there. Most armor. And then I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We are good. All right, next up, let's make our Teslas better against shield. That's what got us in the end of last round. So it's probably good to upgrade them early on. And then I'm just upgrading a bit of everything all about the place. Mana's pretty good for now. I could shove more siphons down, but I think there's any need. We're going to need to find the balance between getting enough space for towers and making enough mana. I think we'll definitely need the banks at some stage. All right, the question is, are we ever going to use an obelisk or are we better using the lookout? I might get a lookout because that magnifies the damage. That could save us against Ugi. So if we shove that like way back there, tell it to look at the most health and at least we're covered that does use mana though so we've got to be careful but uh we survived another round is it worth making our testers do poison damage no i think it's worth getting a frost keep yes that is a good idea so for the frost keep if we put one there does that cover oh i don't think it does so what we might want to do maybe put one there yeah if we put one on that corner and then one there that's everything covered so everyone should slow down a lot let's upgrade to do the armor damage because now the stacks of logs are here. Things are getting a bit serious. I think we're okay as long as we can kill those guys. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Uh, next up, perhaps we want some mortars. They don't use mana because our mana is pretty low at the moment. I'm a little bit worried. So if we go for mortars... We've actually got quite a bit of money. I'm going to shove a mortar by this house. We've got one either side. We're going to make them look at the slowest as before and we'll upgrade the armor multipliers on both of them and then we're going to build a few more siphons and then hopefully we should be pretty good this round here come the mortars nice oh look there's some stacks of logs in there though are we taking them out before the teslas not really thankfully two teslas really doing the job all right next up let's just upgrade the flamethrowers we got quite a lot of those well we've only got two but you know what i mean and maybe we'll do a couple more mortars like back there and the rest of our money will just go on upgrading the tesla so things literally come out the portal and then get smoked by the flamethrower i'm gonna upgrade the armor damage on it because the logs they are getting round they're getting teslaed which isn't ideal but uh with the upgrading i think we're doing pretty good so flamethrowers damage to armor sounds good to me and then oh look oogie is here oh man he is getting through like anything perhaps we need to upgrade some ballista so you look at most health i think we might need some ballista damage up here All right little bit worried about oogie we've got some new ballistas they're doing some damage are they gonna do enough oh yeah his health is going down tesla's helping as well Oh, uh, quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was so close. All right, next up, sorcery. Let's regenerate 1% of our max mana. That's an extra two. Mana is very low. I think we might need some more siphons. Yeah, now we've maxed out the crystals. We can't put any more siphons down. So plus 19 a second is the most we can get without banks. Okay, next up, what did Oogie give us? Well, universities and haunted houses are pointless because we're not going to get shrines or the gravestones because the map isn't going to expand. So I guess encampment, which I don't really want. And he only gave us one upgrade. Nice. Cheers, Oogie. All right, and now we're getting to shield damage. So I think it's worth just upgrading the shield multiplier on the Teslas. I just spent a lot of money on that, but I think it should pan out. I'm also not convinced that this frost tower is actually slowing people down. It seems to take time for it to actually do anything. Well, right, let's upgrade the mortars. And then this was the round we died on last time, but thanks to our Teslas, we actually completed it fairly easily. For our upgrade, we're going to do increasing the burn per second. That doubles it. And then we got 1600 gold. I feel like it's worth upgrading the old flamethrowers on the armor. So they should get rid of the stacks of logs a bit easier. And then I'm just going to upgrade the Tesla for shield damage. Nice. This is looking pretty good, actually. I'm quite impressed with myself. We are definitely surviving. Teslas are the OP tower. I'm just keeping upgrading the shield damage because look, these guys with the purple shields, they do make it through quite far. Ah, oh, look, there is the mana bank. I think we need that. Check out the mana situation. Not good. So start the next level, we'll shove some mana banks right at the back here. So when we got 500 gold, which is about now, we'll shove another mana bank down. And I'm basically just going to keep doing this until the mana is positive again. Unfortunately, I can't make use of the most efficient mana bank 
unique layout from my previous videos. <laughs> but uh, this will have to do. Oh, man. Come on, mana. It's so low. Uh, flamethrowers, 50% burn. I'm not really sure what 50% burn means. I think as they're going to be flamethrowered for the entire run, I don't think that one's worth doing. I think I just need the one that makes them burn more per second. So I'm not going to bother with that. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am. Uh, we could make our Tesla do poison damage. Don't think that's going to be too useful because they're pretty much just in front of the tower but i've taken it anyway because i like damage over time all right i'm gonna try and shove some more mana banks down mana is now going up so i think with one more we should be good i might even replace some of these siphons with banks over time but uh, at the moment yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed we got some big shield guys coming Maybe we can upgrade the shield on this Tesla and the health. Why not? Nice. Survived another round. Shall we do the savings account? Let's get some more mana going. Future proof a bit. And then I might upgrade the frost towers. I haven't touched these yet. So I think a bit of everything damage on those. The lookout. Definitely shield damage. It only costs five. And then we've got a meme amount of gold left. So I'll just press play. Oh man, some of these things are moving pretty fast now. It might be worth shoving another frost keep there. Just to make sure we're slowing enemies down for the entire run. Yeah, let's upgrade that flamethrower. We'll upgrade this flamethrower as well. And then what upgrade shall we take this time? I think poison per second. Because we will get poison towers at some point, I hope. Alright, this Tesla is level 20 now. It is ripping through, to be fair. I'm just very concerned if enemies get through, they're going to do a lot of damage to our tower because we took all the banditries earlier. So yeah, that's not great. Anyway, for the upgrade, let's increase the poison damage, even though we're not doing any poison damage, really. There's a lot of shield stuff coming through now. I'm a little bit nervous, actually. I might upgrade shield. This Tesla is also level 20. One in the middle. We could upgrade it more for shield. It's now level 22. We sort of need some shield damage at the start. Maybe I could make this frost tower do it. Aha, there you go. There is the poison tower i think we'll definitely take you and we'll shove one pointing at the start so probably there will make you look at the most shield and then we'll upgrade your shield armor as much as possible then we got some poison people at the start nice if we can get a shredder we'll be doing all the damage over time the only trouble is there's literally no time all right poison tower upgrade the shield damage or oh, people are sneaking through a little bit i might put another poison sprayer down at the start maybe one on there most shield get some shield damage and then we'll take the fumes one upgrade and oh god it's zombie oogie oh we could take the shredder but i feel like the mana is going down quite rapidly now i've got those poison towers so i'm gonna take the savings account so that sort of rectifies that issue a bit i'm then just gonna upgrade these towers to do shield damage so hopefully we can get rid of zombie oogie's shield it's going down pretty quickly actually is it going down quickly enough though I am not convinced. Oh, God. Right, we're going to have to upgrade a tower or two over here. What if we shove some more ballistas down? We'll set to most health. And then we'll do shield damage and health damage. That's out of money. Are we going to do it? He's down to just health. He's down to just health. Game over. No. Oh, I think he exploded into loads of little people. That was pretty close, though. It seems like the game's actually carrying on in the background. <laughs> Screw you, game over. Oh, no, it did stop. It did stop. Oh, that was fun. But before you go, I'm going to go mental with the mortars. So we're back on a normal map. I'm just going to shove a load of ballistas down. We do have the mods installed for unlimited anything. So I don't actually need to worry about money. Uh, there you go. The mortar is unlocked instantly. Well, nice. So I can delete all these ballistas that I put down. And we're literally just going to go mental with the mortar. Ta-da. And then we'll expand. And oh, my goodness. Big. Oh, this is awesome. All right. So we're literally just going to expand the map with mortars. I assume we like won't ever lose. I love how like just the closest ones fire at first and then more and more fire. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. This is good. All right, this is pretty good because I think whatever way we expand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of disappointed it doesn't kill everyone instantly but i love seeing them fire again can you imagine like walking and just hearing them all fire oh man people get so mullered look at how many are firing right we're on level 10 mortars cost 30 grand per mortar and just look when you start <laughs> <Bish>. <laughs> everywhere love to see it all right my mortars now do poison damage as well so if you happen to survive like a billion mortar hits uh, you're then infected enemies are actually sneaking through further than i thought they would despite the initial bombardment <laughs> but we will keep expanding is my microphone picking that up 
Paddy's snoring. And in case it's not, check out this clip of Paddy sleeping with a little jingle. My friend from my band Polar Point, or my old band Polar Point, uh, the singer Happy Hippo, she has a Twitch channel. You should check that out. Uh, she made this lovely jingle for my dog. Wasn't that nice? And you know what else is nice? All of these mortars like spurting in fast motion. The sound of it. The sound of it. It almost sounds like a war chant. All right, look. Zombie Yogi is here. Is he going to last? I haven't got around to uh, mortaring all of this area yet. But let's see how he gets on. There's so many mortars. Oh, he's taking a hit. He's actually taking them quite easily, actually. With all that shield, he is poisoned at least. Oh, oh, and he's taking a beating now. For some reason, he's going slow. Oh. Yeah, he, he got done. Ooh, mortars do bleed damage. Yes, please. All right, level 35. Here is the robo Oki. And he's taking a beat. Look at the poison damage from all the mortars. It is beautiful. I wonder how far he'll get. He's not even going to make it to there, is he? That's got to be terrifying just seeing that, like, over your head. Thousands and thousands of mortars. Well, actually, he's going to make it to the junction. I didn't think he would. Looking at what's in front of him, though, I don't think he's going to survive long. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I did just about make it three, but then he's dead. Oh, frame rate is definitely taking a hit now. You can see when we fire, things slow down a little bit. We are at three times speed, though. Oh, God. Come on, game. Please survive. Please survive till the end. It's starting to smell like burning plastic in my room right now. All right, and in case you wondered what the final level looked like, completely covered in mortars. Here we go. I'm going to hide the UI. There's so many mortars. Look at them all firing. <laughs> It's just like they rain down. It is. It's quite beautiful, actually. But yeah, the final boss. Here he is. The brain with arms. The big brain, Oogie. He is bleeding and on fire and poisoned. All from the mortars. He's actually getting him quite far through. Should I be worried? I don't think I need to be worried. Something freezes him around here. Not entirely sure why, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, look at the hits he's taking. We know mortars are good against armor. So if they actually look at him, which they will when he gets to the front. Oh, <laughs> the armor takes a hit and then it's just health left yeah he didn't stand a chance think of mango there we have it victory we spent oh my god is that a billion is that a billion oh my god it's even more than that it's a hundred billion oh no it's not it's not quite a billion it's a hundred million oh just a measly hundred million that's not great might make a good title though but yeah right guys that was rogue tower the challenge at the start pretty good fun that i'd recommend giving that mod a download but yes for now peace love and mortars and i'll catch you guys next time bye